This video was created to provide guidance to first responders using the Ludlow Model 26-3 High Range Frisker to approach a radioactive material transportation incident. Follow your local jurisdictional procedures for responding to a radioactive material incident. First responders should consider wearing turnout gear and respiratory protection until the radiation level is assessed. Always perform life-saving first aid to victims or attend casualties first. Most radiation transportation incidents do not pose an immediate life-threatening hazard to first responders or victims. Although the hazard may not be a life-threatening radiation injury, there may be other concerns, such as radiation burns or the potential to cause loss of fingers or damage to extremities. Remember to incorporate time, distance, and shielding to minimize your exposure to radiation. Plan ahead to reduce your time near radiation sources. Keep a safe distance from radiation sources, remembering that the further you are from a radiation source, the less your exposure. And use shielding to block radiation from reaching you. At a safe distance from the scene, perform an operational check of the Model 26-3 and background measurements. The background measurements should be taken away from any radiation sources. Background dose rates in Ohio range from 0.002 to 0.015 millirankin per hour, or MR per hour. Record the background count rate in counts per minute, or CPM, and the dose rate in MR per hour. If available, use an electronic personal dosimeter, referred to as an EPD, or a direct reading pencil dosimeter, referred to as a DRD. Set it to zero and place it on the responding firefighter per your standard operating procedures. Place the dose equivalent filter over the detector face and press the U button until the units are indicating MR per hour. Slowly approach the radioactive material from up gradient and downwind. Observe the LED and the audible chirps for an increase in dose rate. If or when the count rate reaches two to three times background, based on your standard operating procedures, you have detected the presence of radiation. Continue to proceed toward the radioactive material. Observe the LED and the audible chirps for a further increase in dose rate. If the dose rate reaches two MR per hour, mark the location with a pylon or other appropriate item. This is the outer edge of the hot or exclusion zone. A decontamination area can be set up at this location. For most transportation incidents, you will not likely reach this threshold until you are very close to the radioactive material. Please note, 2 MR per hour is not considered a dangerous dose rate. A typical turnback dose rate is 1 R per hour, which is 500 times more intense than 2 MR per hour. If there are no victims or casualties within the hot zone and the material is not likely spreading to the environment, contact the Ohio Department of Health at 614-722-722. 7221 to have a radiation specialist dispatched to coordinate the cleanup of the material and the surrounding area. If 2 MR per hour is not exceeded, continue toward the radioactive material to assess the scene. Once you are near the package, observe it for damage and leaks. Measure the dose rate approximately 1 to 2 inches from the package. Record the dose rate. Next, remove the dose equivalent filter and change units to CPM by pressing the U button. Bring the detector close to the package and any spilled material, approximately a half to one inch from the surface. Slowly scan the area for contamination. A reading two to three times higher than background indicates the presence of radioactive material. As with any hazardous material, contain the spill by preventing the material from contaminating people or the environment. A lead blanket may be used to shield first responders from elevated exposure readings. Firefighters can now regress from the hot zone being sure to doff their turnout gear, segregating potentially contaminated equipment, gloves, clothing, etc. for disposal or decontamination. For radiation incidents, notify the Ohio Department of Health 24-hour hotline at 614-722-7221.